they, they couldn't afford something less, so we gave them a loan and put them in a higher priced home than what FHA guidelines and the lender was saying that they could qualify for. So again, we need some clarification on that, uh, Ralph. So if you can move on that, we'll, we'll go with your, your motion to your request to table. I'd like to table it. It doesn't make sense to me that we would have approved. Ralph, I was saying that we would have approved the loan for a higher amount than they technically should have qualified for. Because all we did was instead of helping them, we just put them in a situation where they may be foreclosed on anything. Well, that's how it's been to Ralph is that that the original loan came out of the first time on part of the guidance. Now it's a, it's, a, it's a moving target. You know, it, it falls under a different loan agreement and under which part and what terms it, it well, we discuss it later, but it's, it's a great deal. Okay, so we'll the table that until further notice, until we break that. Moving on to business items. Item 13, Approved Storefront Rebate Improvement Program, Update of Guidelines. Yes, the Redevelopment Agency provides um, finance, actually rebates to businesses that eliminate lights and repair their storefronts. The Storefront Rebate Program at this point in time allows up to $40,000 in rebates. One of the concerns that we have always had is the fact that whenever you use um, city money, redevelopment agency money, it does trigger pre-rating wages, which usually can add another 30% to the cost of the work. What I did is, is I did talk to other cities to find out how does their program work and how do they avoid the prevailing wage issue. And what I was told was that what they do is that they will consider the application for a storefront rebate after the work has been completed by the business. They hire the contractor, they keep the prices separate on how much it costs them to do the storefront, any other um, repairs such as the sidewalk, arcades, things like that. After the work has been completed and inspection has been final, then they'll come into the redevelopment agency fill out an application and request to be to receive a rebate. At that time, their committee reviews and makes a recommendation. And so therefore, I'm recommending that we consider this process. We have received a lot of interest from the business community. We currently have four to five storefront rebates um, that are actually businesses that are, that are interested in using the program. But again, when we mentioned prevailing wages, that is a deterrent. How did we approve the last two or three that we've done? The last two or three, it was prevailing wages, but what, mainly what they were were signs. And so those are minimal costs. I, I think I've seen the um, reimbursements of five to $8,000. But the five that we're talking to right now, they're looking at pretty close to thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. So we're looking at this to detonate the use of these funds that we have to rehabilitate the storefronts and get more people to shop. We really want to encourage it because if they are eliminating life, that's number one. But at the same time, they're encouraging more customers to come into their store. And of course, the other thing is, is uh, retention of employment and possibly even the creation of additional employment. I, I'd only like to add if we could put uh, a clause or a section that says the use of solar power is encouraged and there's a number of rebates that can be obtained from IID or the state regarding solar power. So if we can include that language, solar, the use of solar power is encouraged. One of the interesting notes is, for example, I was talking to a group that had recently installed those parking, the parking lot lights and fixtures. And the cost of that was equivalent to the cost of a solar of a solar light, with the advantage that the solar light has a 10-year maintenance program schedule, and there's no infrastructure that needs to be put in place. You don't have to link everything else. Uh, you don't have to put meters. You don't have to pay a monthly bill. So if we can include that, there's some rebates from the state and from IID that we can I think that would help green up the city. That's the only recommendation I have. I, I, I like the changes. Well, uh, 
I'm Lars from Roslyn. I'm reading the second paragraph in the background information. And it just tells me the same thing. That uh, what it was before and what it is now. Or what, what is being proposed. I mean, as far as for the uh, purpose, yeah. I'm very much in favor of it, but I just don't see the difference what the city had before and what, was, what you're proposing. What we required before is that they had to come to the city prior to even building or constructing or pulling a building permit in order to receive approval for a rebate. So now the, the work would be completed? They would, be, they would complete the work and then come to the city and actually fill out the application requesting a rebate of the work that was done. You have both procedures? Pardon me? You don't have both procedures? You can choose option A, come prior to, or option B. We can. With the understanding, of course, that we would tell them that option A, if you apply prior to construction, it will trigger prevailing wages. If, you, if they choose option B, it will be a rebate after the construction has been done. Okay. Okay. Uh, ¿Qué es el porcentaje de la ayuda a los a negocios? El porcentaje ha sido muy bajo. Porque los negocios... No, 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 English, okay. The percentage of assistance to business has been very low. Again, they're discouraged... El porcentaje de asistencia a los negocios ha sido muy bajo. They're discouraged because of the prevailing wages. El porcentaje de la they have um, requested rebates on signs. Usually it pays for material on very minimal regulars. And so for a business to actually do major reconstruction of the storefronts, it would add 30% to the cost. Yes, what I have is that we will encourage the use of solar power. We will have an option A, so that if they wish to apply before construction, and an option B, if they wish to apply after construction. Okay, make a motion. Uh, so I have a first and second. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Motion passed unanimously. Uh, item 14, consideration of an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Calexico amending Chapter 12.8, Sidewalk Obstructions. Um, Mr. Mayor and members of the City Council, essentially this is just a clean up item. Um, the original code section said that the fine for a violation of failure to keep the sidewalk clean would be $100 per violation. and we. The city now has the administrative citation procedure in place, and that administrative citation procedure is an alternative to the criminal citation where you do a $100 fine. And so what we wanted to do is just take out this $100 um, reference so that it can go under administrative citations, which can be $100 for the first violation, $200 per second, $500 per third, and $1,000 for the fourth. We just wanted to eliminate the conflicting language so that our code enforcement officers can deal with this through administrative citation procedure. Yo, yo pienso que está muy alta la cooperaciones. Yo pienso que deberíamos de apoyar, pero si no se me alta, deberíamos. Yo creo que la de 100 dólares deberíamos, deberíamos de ahorrar 50 dólares. La otra, 100 dólares, pero de todo mundo se sabe. Es el hecho de manera de. 